Hi everybody, it's Hannah here with another video, and and this, I'm um, starting, well, by the time I'm posting this, it's going to be October, and I'm going to be posting every day of October, probably, like, not the weekends, but during Monday through Friday, so I'll be posting 26 videos this month instead of, like, the full 31 days. I'm gonna try to post every single day, including that um the weekends. So I might like with some scary stories, I might like split them in thirds or do little chunks of, in some scary story videos. I might not. I don't know. We'll have to kind of play it by ear. But I've screenshotted a good chunk of videos, um, story times for you guys. And this video I'm gonna do is like I've seen on um YouTube with two um YouTubers of um Loey Lane and um Haley Reese and they've done it in chunks and kind of um been more up to date I guess with them and me I'm just doing all of them I guess like they I know I don't know how many of um Haley Reese has but um, Loie Lane has like 10 parts, and I'm practically putting all of her parts all into one, I guess, but, I, I guess, but of the Dear Davy David, um, story or whatever, so, all together, and, yeah, I hope you guys like, please like, please subscribe, and enjoy, and on here, it's on, off of Twitter, so, um, and it, the person is Adam Elise, I'm guessing, who's been documenting everything. So, dear David, documenting the ghost in my apartment. Monday, August 7th, 2017. So my apartment is currently being haunted by a ghost of the dead child. He's trying to kill me. Thread. He's starting appearing in my dreams, but I think he's crossing over in a... In the real world now. The first time I saw him, I was experiencing sleep paralysis and saw a child sitting in the green rock chair in front of my foot. He had a huge mishappen head that was dented on the side. Then I did my best to draw it, and I don't know if that helps a little picture of what he looks like for a while he just stared at me but then he got out of the chair starting shambling towards the bed i couldn't be i couldn't move because i had i was paralyzed i could i could have slept paralyzed fairly often it sucks Right before he reached my bed, I woke scream, woke up screaming. I had another dream a few nights later, where I was in the library with, and a girl came up to me and said, Have you heard Dear David? Haven't you? Have you seen D Dear David? Haven't you? I said, Who? And sh she said, Dear David, you saw him. I c she continu continued. He, he's dead. He only appears at midnight, and you can't ask him two questions if you say, Dear David, first. Then she added, but never ask him to the third question, or he'll kill you. I was very shaken. Have two dreams about the same thing it is pretty weird. Anyway, a couple weeks passed without ex incense. Then David came back in another dream. Same situation. I was laying in bed and he was sitting on the rock chair near the window staring at me. In the dream, I said, Dear David, how long have you... How did you die? He mumbles in a accident in a store I said dear David what happened in the store he groaned a shelf pushed on my head 
I froze in fear. I asked, who pushed you? Push the shelf. David didn't answer. I realized that I asked, I've asked a third question, which I'm not supposed to do. At this point, I woke up absolutely terrified. The next couple days, I googled deaths in a city, but I couldn't find anything about a kid named David dying in a store. I even tried different names, Daniel, Dylan, Devin, nothing, a few, a few weeks ago, but without an incident. Short of randomly, the apartment above mine is vaccinated, and I have the opportunity to move into it. It's, long, it's a longer apartment, so I'm thrilled. Another month or two goes by, uh, and I sh short, s sort of forgot about Dear David. I think he lost track of me because I moved upstairs. But lately, something strange is happening. For the past four nights, my c cats gathered gathered uh, at the front of the door extremely extremely midnight exactly at midnight and stared at it almost like something is at the other side last night I got a weird feeling and looked but out the pee hole and I'm dead certain I saw a movement at the other side. And there's a picture of his cats looking in the crack area. And just to let you know, there are like some video clips, but I couldn't save them or anything. So just letting you know, if you want to see any pictures or videos, feel free to like look over there. So just for your information. So if you want to go there or anything, to follow along or look at the pictures or watch the video little video clips you can um. when i opened the door i turned on the light hall nothing was there but my cats seemed unnerved Push, uh, pushy tail, etc. And that's where I am right now. Dear Dave and found me, I think. I don't know how, what, I don't know what to do. I'll keep you updated. Wednesday, August, August 9th, 2017. Update. For the sixth night in the room, my cat has walked over to the door Importantly, at midnight, approximately at midnight, and staring at it. And what's going on? And there's a video. Can't play it because it's screenshotted. So, okay, so I l look at a photo through the pee hole because I'm too scared to open in front of, in, fr in front of. Uh, Scared to open the door. I feel like I saw something. I couldn't tell, so I must mustered the courage to open the door. Nothing was out there, but I look took a photo like this, which I can't. I don't. Is it just me, or is it something? In the first photo, right where the banister meets the shovels. I wasn't sure if I took it. I wasn't sure if it it was a smudged or something. So I took a second photo from inside where some something was there. And I'm going to brighten the brace up so maybe you guys can see it.
I dead bolted I dead bolted and locked the lock and got into got in bed because I didn't know what else to do. I could still hear my cat meowing at the door. I'm pretty scared. His cat has green eyes. Thursday, August 10th, 2017. It's been a pretty quiet night. Quiet night. I'm going to try try out a sleep talk app to see if anything happens during the night. I'm heading to bed, but the cats are back up at the door. The only they only do this in the middle of the night. It's routine now. And here we go. Just a few minutes before midnight. They both are there now. I don't even know if this is the right kind of salt and he put salt by the door. Maxwell is extra talkative tonight. He is obviously trying to tell me something. I use a... Oh, now it's Friday 11th. Uh, Friday, August 11th, 2017. I used a sound app to record my apartment last night. It makes available recording each time it hears something. There were 33 recordings. Most of them were, were vague. A couple of them are passing cars and like, and the like, but... There are three I'm interested in. The first the first is snapping sound, and it seems like a single step. It's odd because I didn't get out of bed at all. This is a the this one is weird because out of thirty three recordings, this is the only one that has that strange electric sound through it. And there's like diff like recordings with it. Just when I'm reading this. Letting you guys know. This directly follows electric. Another snap of a groan, groan in my sleep. These happen between 2 to 3 in the morning. I have no explanation for them. I'll re keep recording and share them if, if I find anything. Anything curious. Saturday, August 12th, 2017. Getting off F out of my haunted apartment weekend. And then he took a selfie. I have no explanation for this. And then Monday, August 14th, 2017. So a weird thing just happened. Take, take it with a salt, grain of salt. I bought a Polarn camera with this weekend and they, they're fun and dorky. I decided to take a few photos around my apartment. And then he take a picture of the camera. Pollards are stupid and fun. And everything sort of creep sort of creepy. I didn't expect to find anything and for the most part I didn't. I took a couple pictures of my living room and bedroom. That's the rocking chair chair I saw David in. It's pretty unmarkable. And here's our two pictures. Uh, then I went into the hallway and snapped a photo. And then and then he took a picture and saying it's the um, developed and complete in, in black. I even ripped open and destroyed a fresh pack to 
pack, so see if it is was the an undeveloped, but it started out white. I also thought maybe I accidentally covered the lens with a finger, so I took a picture picture while entangling intentionally covering it. The photo on the left is me covering the lenses with my finger and the one on the right is me filling, filling the light after midnight. You could barely see it, but... So I could see, I could see nothing. I'm sh not sure what to make out of it. Okay, at one... Last one last night, one last thing because I wanted it to double check. Here's a video of me ta taking photos. There's a video, so then in the hallway, took another video. It came back totally black again for the second time. Honestly, I don't know why I'm still blinking around with this camera. There might be a, a logic reason. Someone told me to take photos farther away, so I tried to do that on my iPhone once with the camera. Left, left is with my phone, right with the camera. The hallway light ha has both light has on both times. Why is this picture black picture that I this whole th thread has been really convoluted, and I'm sorry if this is hard to follow. I just want. Just thought this would all weird, all weird, and wanted to share. The next day, folks, I've been arguing me to. Folks have been arguing with me to get staged, so I did, and he took a picture of it. Show proof. Staging the hall and definitely staging the beep out of the rocking chair. Honestly. St staging didn't doesn't seem to like honestly sage didn't seem like it'll help much but I'm hoping some hoping something but I'm open to anything I barely slept last night I kept waking up feeling something was wrong But who knows, maybe there, maybe this will do something. Sage did not work. I haven't dreamt about David in a few months, and but uh, he appeared last night again. In, in the dream, I, in the dream, my dream, my bedroom was filled with Hezzy smoke, but I could see David sitting in the chair across the room. He was smaller this time, almost shrunk. He did not do or say anything except look at me. Anyways, I feel like a bad arm. Um. Friday, August 18th, 2017. It's been two weeks and he still does does this every night. And talk, the cat is looking. Took a picture. Another weird stuff has been happening too. I I've been recording myself to sleep, recording myself sleeping, and it picks up weird electric sounds every night at 3 a.m. at least five minutes. This morning I woke up with the whole house shaking. I felt like it was a small earthquake. I debated even mentioning on Twitter because it sounding 
it sounds made up, but I directly felt my house swinging. It's just a it's just a whole bunch of small things that's happening at once. I feel so uneasy like right now before the thunderstorms come. Everyone is telling me to move, but I don't have any regard it regard regard that it won't fall that this won't follow me the next night just an issue of the thunderstorming warning tonight and there's a picture everyone in this city is talking about how weird the sky looks i'm i can hear the rolling thunder and then there's a picture Monday, August 21st, 2017. All the ghost stuff has been spooky, but this past week, weekend, was the first time I actually felt unsafe in my home. Thread. All this ghost stuff has been spooky, but this past weekend was the first time. Oh, I already read that. Okay, I'm going to put the dog outside. Buddha, come on. Come on. Come on. Outside. Sorry about that. Uh, on f Friday night, there was supposed to be a huge storm that in the in the end of the past, but at that night was brizzy, brizzy anyways. I fell asleep pretty early. I was incredible tired for some reason. I had a dream last night where David was dragging me by the arm through an old abandoned warehouse. I'm not sure why I didn't fight back in the dream or how... He was strong enough to pull me, but it's dream lo logic for you. It was a creepy dream, but I didn't think much of it when I woke up. I took a shower and then noticed something. I woke up with a bruise on my arm. Here's a picture. Now look, maybe I injured myself in the day before and my arm is was hurting during the night and massive as a dream. There could be totally logic explanations for it, so I brushed it off. I went to, to get coffee, which I do every weekend. When I walk to get coffee, I always pass a food cart repart depot it's always incredible busy especially on weekends i've lived in the neighborhood for over four years and this place has been jam-packed with carts getting service but t today it was completely abandoned the whole aware house was totally empty and here's a picture Well, almost empty. I went inside to look around because I was astonished and this this place was suddenly empty after all these years. Basically the only one the only thing in the entire warehouse was very was a single green chair. The only way back from the coffee were Coffee, the warehouse has been shuttered and remained shuttered since. And here's a picture. On my way back, the coffee, on my way from coffee, the warehouse has been shuttered and remained, remained shuttered. And it's just closed door.
The chair has the chair. My bros dreaming about an empty warehouse, and then pass passing by one. It gives me the creeps. Need needless to say, I didn't sleep much that night. Too, too many strange things has happened, happening, and more frequently. So I don't know anyway. I don't know anyway. I have strange. Have had a strange weekend. August twenty fifth, two thousand twenty seven. There, there have been a few small de developments in my apartment. So I, but I don't really know sure what to make out of them. I don't. I just I'm scared. Thread. If you recall, my cats usually gathered at the door at midnight, but lately it's been getting earlier and earlier every night. I almost, I was almost used to the routine, so they started to cry at the door. Closer to 10 p.m., I was confused. I began my new routine, however around the door at 10 p.m. crying for about 15 minutes then wandered off as if nothing was wrong. Shortly after the usual cat stuff around 10:30 or so I started getting my phone getting phone calls an unmarked number. My entirely entire history call history for the past week looks like this. You notice there's one yeah, from yesterday. Oh. Since it's... Since this has been happening for a few days now, and I thought it could be on a manic tell or something. Usually, if it's something on a manic thing, you if you answered once, he'll quit calling. So I picked up. Instead of hearing what the the other end, I was in particular. Uh, Electrics, electric sound, sound very similar, preliminary, recognizable. The, so the two of those put the, next to each other. Uh, static sleep in my sleep app picks up at the night. I didn't see. I didn't s say anything. I listened waiting for some automatic message to chain in. After about a minute, the static st stop and static stop and there was a silence. I kept listening. I heard what I thought was breathing, but I, it was so faint I can't be sure. My heart was racing, so I... It was hard to hear. Then I just, at, just as I was about to hang up, I heard a very small whisper, "Hello." So something, uh, something about the way they said hello freaked me out. It wasn't a question or a greeting. Just hello, but I f flat statement. So I quit, couldn't hear. I panic and hang up. I didn't know what else to do. I closed all the curtains in the apartment and turned on very, very silent. I watched TV until dawn because I was too scared to go to sleep. I short to of feel like I'm losing my mind. If I look at each individual accident on its own there was a perfect logical explanation for everything 
But after these weeks, weird be happening. I don't know how to make sense all, all of all. The only thing I I feel like it feel like I could can do right now is write everything down. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I, I'll keep doing. Monday, August twenty eighth, two thousand seventeen. So I moved the green chair out of the bedroom weeks ago. It's been various part parts of the living room ever since. Thread. I was probably rid of it. Rid of it. I'm, I should probably get rid of it, but I'm sure that would affect anything. Also, I'm going on vacation to Japan in three weeks, so I'll keep thinking, thinking if I can make it go to my trip, and this will all end as dumb as that sounds. David lost track of me once when I moved, so maybe he believes if believes I left my apartment again. He'll leave me alone. Anyway. Last week, I bought a pet monitor camera so I can keep my eye on my cats while I'm overseas. I basically, it's basically a nanny camera that connects to the Wi-Fi, so you can check in whenever you want to. I, it runs twenty four seven. It also alerts you to. Sound and movement movement via an app, and then he took a picture and black out the company. Show a little bit of proof. And in any event, I decided to test it out. Out this weekend, I was away from the away from home one night, so I stepped. Set up my camera before I left. My phone, my phone pinned permanently through the evening, alerting me to the cats running around playing, 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 and normal stuff. Then around eleven, it alerted me again that it moderate detected. Moderation. But when I checked the feed of my feed feed of my apartment and didn't see anything, so I watched the feed again. So nothing, still nothing. I watched the third time. I finally noticed something. And then there's like two videos. Like I said, if you want to see the videos, go check it out on. Your own to watch, and oh, there's a short chunk of hair for some reason. Don't mind that. I knew it could have been the wind, but because I had the window open at the same summer, the summer, I also have the AC, and it could kept it chilly. It was under. Unnerving, but there was wasn't anything I could do about it right then. So I flipped my phone off and tried not to panic. About half an hour, half an hour, an hour later, I got another monetization alert, and then he sent in like a little video. If you missed it the first time, like me. Look above the shelf and the turtle shell that I hung up on the wall. Yeah, I know it's weird to have a turtle shell, but my family lives in Minnesota, Mo oh, Montana, and picked up it up at last year at a native training post. And there you go. Since I've been back. Home. I've been too nervous to turn the camera back on, and today it's been pretty quiet. That said, I feel pretty un very 
I feel really uneasy to put the chair chair in the hall. I hope nothing else happens tonight. Uh, Tuesday, September 5th. It's happening again. Thread. I've been leaving the nanny cam, cam on on 24-7. It keeps recording every time there's something move or sound, as you know. I was going to, over the feed from the, this weekend and noticed some, something, some weird stuff. During the night on Saturday, while I kept it recording, the cat, cats in the living room, it seemed pretty unmarkable at first. I was going over to feed the, uh, recording? Okay. I didn't think it was a bug or anything. Maxwell didn't react to like that with, with bugs. He just eats, he just eats them. Something spooked him. What's more, I all I almost get, never get bugs. I seen them maybe three times all year. I've lived there. Anyways, the next morning, the camera recorded a couple strange videos, and there was like video too. He would rather he'd sit up on his hand legs and peer around the room as if looking for something or looking at something. This is odd behavior for him. I can't come home. I can't come up with an action reasoning for this, especially because of the next video. I was supposed to change change it was a fly but I honestly never get flies so it seems unlikely I will just can't shake the feeling that something has made it so it's so away into the apartment it's so odd behavior for Maxwell in in any event this feels off this week. I can't explain. September 16th, 2017. I I've been having so many nightmares lately. They're they're way more intense than usual. Dreams dreams too. I don't know if it's because I'm stressed or anything else. This afternoon, I took a nap and had a dream I haven't seen to be able to shake. In the dream, I was laying in bed and rolled off to face the direction. On the pillow next to me was a silver head with a bloody spine attached, shaking the bed. The head of the stair right next to me somehow still alive. It had a huge smile plattered on its face. Horrified, I screamed, what's happening to you? I heard a smile even bigger. It feels great, the head groaned. After that, I woke up. It was dark outside by then. Everything was quiet. Other dreams I've had has just strange. Things like figures staring at my window, even though I lived on the second floor. Stuff makes no sense in relations that to what have been experienced in real life. After that dream about but about the head, I've been feeling uneasy all night. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I decide to walk, go for a walk for, if for no other reason. Then I go out to an apartment and went 
to get Bonjay for a few blocks and get away a snack. On the way, I passed the unware ha- unware house, a warehouse that mate was aborted a few weeks ago. It's actually the same way, way to everything. Passing it twice a day, just make going, just getting to that subway. I heard it. I hurried past it, Pat, since it freaks me out now. And it Bonji got Doritos and a seltzer, and then and then made my way back home. When I passed the warehouse the second time, I heard a, a dull thump from the side of the shutters. I froze in a place where there's no long, no other sound after that. Probably should have continued on, but curiosity got better to me. There was gratted window next to my, next to the doors, about the. Floor foot of my head, too high to see into it. So I th- thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna hold my phone up to the window and take one photo and r- then run off. So I made sure my flash was on, positioned my camera lens through the- one of the grates- gates and then snap a photo. I almost thought I saw a movement when the flash went off, but I couldn't be certain. The light bounced off the grates and was pretty blinding. I couldn't even look at the photo. I just ran all the way home. Just, I was too jumpy to look at it for a while. I w- ate my Doritos nervously. I saw... I sh- I when I when I finally did took the photo look at the photo hear what I saw there was a bunch of old installation and looked like a field of practically is practically in a pool of stuff practically then I noticed something else in the upper right corner something looked like a face then the more I started looking at it, the more I get started to look like a nondescript blur. Now I can't even be sure what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm maybe I'm too deep into this, and my brain wants to see David, but there's he's not there. But there, but here I missed a few. Sh- of flitters on my phone a bit then but tell me this doesn't look like him and there's like a little barely a picture but I'm gonna say that will be all for this video if you do please like please subscribe and there will be a part two and like this video if you do like this and I'll see you next time bye